All right, so check this out. I'm on the Inara page for community goals, which I recommend everybody use because it states the module rewards in plain English and it's easy to reference. You also get pretty fair, you know, very near real-time reflections of how close the community goals are to being completed. So what have we got? The Alliance is offering a Lacon Spaceways Type 6 transporter. The Type 6 is not a great reward, gotta say. All they're doing is saving you a million credits, assuming the ship is free. It fits on a medium pad, but so does the Python. It can carry 100 tons of cargo, but the Python can carry 200. Python's a much more expensive ship, but um, I guess the Type 6 isn't terrible if you're new to the game. And I don't think that very many people are going to be competing with you on trying to get that particular module reward. Unfortunately, the Type 6 just isn't that remarkable a ship overall. The other two modules are more interesting though. We've got a 3A shield generator with thermal and kinetic resistance. If it follows the normal pattern FDEV's been tracking on this type of special super engineered module reward, then it's likely that these are going to be grade 5 thermal and kinetic resistance, and there'll be a mishmash of different advantages and disadvantages pulled from both blueprints. This is an interesting shield. Unfortunately, it's a size 3A shield, and there aren't that many ships that can apply a size 3 shield very well. Most of the small ships, uh, up until you get to the Vulture, can. The Vulture's not really going to do that very well because it's got a size 5 internal, which means you'd want to run a size 4 shield if you're using shield cell banks, or just run a size 5 shield for maximum base shield strength. The most viable solution for putting this shield on something is probably an Imperial Courier, which already has a pretty ridiculously sized shield to start with. It does have its maximum size internals or threes. So you would stick a 3A shield in here and then you'd probably mix it with a shield cell bank at the same size. And if the resistances are as big as I think they're going to be, it's, it'll make the Imperial Courier an extremely durable ship. Like it might, depending on how aggressive the resistance profile is, it, it might actually make it pretty, pretty dangerous, at least in terms of defensive capacity. You'd be able to wail on this thing and it'd take it. The other reward here is a Class 3 Overcharged and Armored Power Plant. Mixing those two blueprints is definitely interesting. Armored lowers your heat profile a little bit by improving efficiency, but Overcharged dramatically increases that heat profile. I think we'll get a power plant that's maybe a little bit more powerful, assuming they grade 5 uh, advantage both of these blueprints into whatever this mishmash is going to be. We'll get a reactor that produces slightly more power than either blueprint would produce individually but without the negatives that the overcharge normal because overcharge normally makes your reactor more vulnerable to incoming damage so we get a reactor that could produce a ton of power that will hopefully not be as hot running as a normal reactor but there's only four ships in the game that can take a 3A reactor as their their primary largest slot for reactors uh, the three smallest ships in the game can't accept it at all, and if you go into the size 4 reactor categories, you're still probably going to be underspec compared to an engineered size 4 reactor. That's only three ships, and the only combat ship in that group of three ships, the only two, is the Imp Eagle and the Viper. You could do something interesting with the Viper. Uh, the Imp Eagle's DPS is not as good as the Viper, though, so I don't see a lot of commanders sticking a reactor like this in an Imp Eagle. Viper can bring two smalls and two mediums, and the Imp Eagle's got... Uh, one medium and two smalls. It's just not quite as good a reward. I think the shield is more interesting because you could stick it on an Imperial Courier and do a lot with it. Uh, of all of these rewards, I would say that the Imperial Starport is probably the best place to focus your efforts if you can only do one. Uh, its contributions are at 6%. A lot more people are going for the power plant. I wonder if they know something that I don't. When I get on, this is what I'm going to focus on because I've got a couple Imperial Couriers that could probably use the uh, the shield boost. So uh, that's all I got for today. I will catch you guys later.